to you jokes welcome to you jokes nice to see you i'm jonathan mangum we are back we are back from our little hiatus i'm so glad that we are back here making jokes again that was our new little opening jingle and animation it was a little choppy i know we're working on it i want to thank my buddy matt guiler for coming up with that thank you matt we'll have him on the show sometime soon because he's an awesome improviser too uh yay we are back i see people are here to join us today uh, the room is full of people i see sarah ray ray craig in the uk uh, i don't know if it's later or earlier there now because of the time change uh carolyn norman is here i see shiana shiana is here i see drifty allison shannon r is here trisha hey carolyn norman how are you Amy Khan is here. She just took a nap. I'm glad that happened for you. Uh, I am so excited about this. This is our third season, I'm calling it, of You Jokes, season three. I can say that. I can say that because there is no one in charge above me and no one is making a penny on this, so I can call it whatever I want. This is our third season. That's right. We outlasted shows like Glow and... By the way, Glow was just canceled, but we have had less than half of the wrestling accidents that they had. So I'm happy to report that. Uh, which of your bingeable popcorn shows will we overtake next? Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt, we are coming for you. Or maybe Orange and the New Black will be the old black and you jokes will be the new black. Uh, that'll be because of you. Thank you guys for tuning in and playing so much. This is our 51st episode, actually, even though it's season three. I see Martin Jones. Uh, I see Postmaster Radio. Thanks for joining us. Michelle Carlin is here. She's always here. Joshua Peacock is here. Angela Rosender. Uh, welcome to the show. Is this your first time and you're wondering, what the heck am I looking at? What is this thing that's happening in front of me? This is You Jokes. It is a live comedy show where two professional funny people compete for the best joke. Uh, based on a picture or a meme or a, an idea I give them. But where the fun part is that you get to play too. You at home, no more just yelling profanities at the TV. Well, you can still do that. But if you want to play along, if you have a joke, all you got to do is type it in right there into the Facebook or the YouTube chat. Just type it in. Josh, our producer, who is off camera right now, you can't see him, but he goes and finds a good one to go up against our comedy pros. And then you get to decide who wins because uh, this is still a democracy, at least for a few more days, right? <laughs> so thanks for joining us. Uh, more people are coming in now. I see Egox. Hi, Egox. I say, hey, Caitlin Laslavage. I hope I pronounced your name right. These, uh, these two guests are two of the funniest people in the world, uh, professionals by any standard that you would hold against them. I have known them for a long time and they are both hilarious. I would like you to put your hands together for my funny, funny friends, John Lair and Bill Cott. Hey. What is up, you guys? <laughs> I'm loving the sound effects. Yeah, I got I got my son over here on the, doing the sound effects. Chase, say hi, Chase. Hi. <laughs> That's Chase. I need um, him to do it just for me walking around the house. I just yeah. want to pause. You know. <laughs> uh, John, so we... We met uh, way on back uh, during the Wayne Brady Variety Show. We yes, both we were did. cast members on that. And you've done all kinds of stuff. But then you, you, you've done the, the most impressive thing, which is you wrote shows and sold them and put yourself in them. This is like <laughs> the, the height of creativity, man. You, you did 10 items or less, which was fantastic. And recently, Quick Draw, these shows were so funny and improvisational. Uh, how the hell did you do that, man? I, I had to, Jonathan, because nobody else would hire me. So I had to make them myself so that I could give myself a job. There and it worked. Are. I love it. It did work. Uh, <laughs> are those shows, they're still available to be seen, correct? Oh, yeah. They will run forever. Uh, Quick Draw is on Hulu. And I think 10 items or less, it, it goes back and forth between uh, um, uh, Crackle and Hulu. Okay. So somewhere, find those shows, go watch them. They're, they're very hilarious. Google them. Google them. Uh, what are you working on now, John? I just finished a movie, uh, acting, just acting, didn't write or anything, but uh, called uh, Safer at Home, the coronavirus movie, which is a comedy, but set in uh, perhaps the most unfunny time uh, at least in my lifetime. Uh, but uh, I just saw a rough cut of it and it's, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. So yeah. When's it going to be available and where can we see it? Well, they, I mean, they're just at the rough cut stage, so I don't know. 
How long does it take? I don't know much. I mean, I guess a few months. I think I think it's a down. They're down to a day or two with all the new tech. So. <laughs> they should be out now, Dow. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm glad you're here, John. It's great to see you, uh, Bill. I've also known you for a long time, just from the world of improv and the world of auditions. You've you your your resume of TV shows. I stopped counting after the hundreds, uh, but then but you're known for comedy, and then you go and you do this one part on This Is Us of, of, of the, the mailman. And it just, the, so amazing. I mean, it was brought, yeah. brought tears to people's eyes. What was that like? I had no idea when that happened. Uh, I was actually out of state. I wasn't anywhere near Los Angeles. I was back in Missouri teaching a series of improv classes at my old college, which I do every couple of years, Central Methodist University. And uh, we, uh, it was supposed to be on one week, but then there was a presidential speech. And so it got bumped by a week and everybody was bummed out. And so I was uh, at my, uh, my wife's aunt and uncle's place. We were sitting there watching on the couch. And then all of a sudden, uh, when it was started viewing on the East coast, I started getting all these emails and all these Facebook messages. And I was like, what the hell? Uh, I've never gotten anything like that for any comedy project I've ever done except for, <laughs> A comedy project I was not involved in when Tina Fey mentioned my gag reflex on David Letterman. Uh, <laughs> I had a similar response. She didn't give you a proper shout out. She just said some guy I worked with. No, no, no. She definitely mentioned my name. Okay. But I wasn't technically involved in the David Letterman late show. Oh, okay. Excellent. Excellent. Um, and where did you, did, are you, did you get your start in Chicago, Second City? Uh, well, I started doing comedy sports in Chicago and then did, uh, uh, Second City did a little bit of IO, and uh, but definitely started doing improv in Chicago, and that's when I met you at the Club Soda in Montreal at Just for Laughs. That's right. Oh my gosh, that's where we met. Oh my gosh, yeah. that was a while ago. What are you working on now, man? Well, there's a film I'm working on in January that I'm not sure how many details I can give out, but it's a it's once again not a comedy. It's a suspense film, kind of in the mode of Get Out. So nice. just looking forward to doing that. Nice, man. Congratulate. I love that you're both working in this time. That is fantastic. Uh, let me tell you about this audience, okay? This audience that plays you jokes, they are competitive as hell. I couldn't mm -hmm. even competitive as hell. So I hope you guys brought some jokes because here we go. We're going to play our first game. It's a game called... Name the movie. Called name the movie. Uh, this, this is our first time for these graphics, so I'm all excited about them. Yeah, I'm awesome. going to show, yeah thanks, man. I'm going to show you a, a picture from a movie. Uh, it's not a real movie; it's a fake one. But you tell me what movie do you think this is from? And here we go. What, what movie, guys? Do you think this is from? If you're watching at home and you want to play along, go ahead and type it now into the Facebook or YouTube chat. What movie? Is this from? Type it in Facebook, YouTube, or if you're watching on Twitch, type in the name of this movie, what you think it is. We're going to start down at the bottom with Mr. Bill. Bill, what movie is this from? I'm going to say uh, Rocky 10, Bullwinkle and Frostbite Falls. <laughs> <laughs> yes. yes, I like it. Good one. Moving up the line. John, your turn, sir. What movie is this from? I'm going to go with Rocky and Bullwinkle 2. <laughs> yeah. I love it. Let's go to the audience. Josh, pull a good one out from these fine people at home for this first round of you jokes. Patrick Luce, UFC, the ultimate furry challenge. Nice, Patrick. <laughs> nice one. That's good. A good round. Good way to start. So we have done our first round. It's time for you folks to vote at home. Did you think Bill had the best joke? Type in B. If you thought John had the best joke, type in J. If you think the audience had the best joke, type in A. That's B for Bill, J for John, A for the audience. While you're voting, I, th I thought the movie was going to be called uh, There Will Be Blood, He Nuts. There will be blood, <laughs> uh, but I don't get to play. Uh, Josh is going to be had a Huh? Like to, me, he's, to me, he's saying, stop shooting your BB gun at my family. <laughs> yes, it's true. But I don't that's know why you, a guy would have a BB gun. And it's hard to shoot with those gloves. So yeah. maybe that's not good. Also, I know now who buried all those MMA fighters in my backyard. I believe that's <laughs> uh, Josh, who won the first round of you jokes? The audience. Oh, oh. <laughs> 
They are starting off strong. I told you guys, the audience does not mess around. They're no. good. I need him to punch up some stuff later. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and move on to our next game. Good job, audience, to start. Our next game is called... Ruined Date. Ruined Date. Uh, this is a brand new game. We have not played this game before. I'm going to show you two people having a nice date. You tell me what one of them says to ruin it. Here's the picture. What does one of these people say to ruin this date? Do you have a joke? Type it in now and do the Facebook and or the YouTube chat. Type in your joke now and Josh will go pull a good one to go up against the pros. We started with Bill last time, so we're going to start with John this time. John, what is said to ruin this date? Honey, I made this toast in our Dutch oven. <laughs> oh, I, I believe that it's a joke, Jonathan. Bill, what's a good line to ruin this date? Uh, how about, hey, I solved that problem with the yeast shortage. <laughs> <laughs> Ew. Ooh, that would ruin the date. Two good ones. Ruined dates indeed. Josh, let's go to the audience and see how they want to ruin this date. Nigel Windsor III, your penis is bigger than mine. <laughs> a little less subtle and a little more realism there for you. A little uh, on the nose. Yeah, it's time to vote, you guys. Was it B for Bill, J for John, or A for audience, B for Bill, J for John, or A for the audience? Man, you know, I think this is the night that she found out that white sheets and uh, gluten allergies don't mix. That would be my guess. <laughs> Bro, um, that's celiac. You guys are both married, right? Yeah. Yes, sir. But not to each other. Oh. Good night. Thank you. Oh, I'm going to uh, keep coming, and they're going to keep coming. Oh, uh, when's the last that time you had happened in my marriage? <laughs> <laughs> right. When's the last time you had a date like this? I've been married 20 years. I, I no. I, I I've never had that. We've <laughs> never I, had we'd be sheets over we'd the top. Afraid we'd spill the coffee on the on the on the bed bedding there. Yeah. Yeah. This is an th these are models and they are not really in love. Damn it. Josh, who won that round of you jokes? Bill! Yeah! Oh, that's <laughs> Good job, Bill. You are on the board. Audience has one. John, it's not too late to score Damn some it. points. Here we go. Our next game is one we call... You tell me what that means. What's it mean? I'm going to show you a made-up word. It's a fake word. All you got to do is tell me what you think it means. Put it in a sentence if you want to. That could be fun. Here is the word. Bib jig. Bib jig. What the heck is a bib jig? Do you know? Type it into the Facebook or YouTube chat. Your definition of the word bib jig. Bib jig. It's Bill's turn to go first. Bill, what is the definition of bib jig? That, of course, is the dance that a toddler does after a meal. <laughs> Aww. Yeah. What's a bib jig? Cute little no. bib. Nice little jig. Yeah. Uh, John, bib jig. What I, is bib jig? I have it slang for Bible jiggle. It's when you hold a Bible awkwardly in front of a church backwards <laughs> and upside down. I like it. Topical. Uh, good answer there. Going to the audience now. Josh, pull one out for us. Bib jig. Best audience joke from Shiana. Shiana, bib jig. Donkey hops. Don donkey hops. For a minute there, I see hops, I thought beer, because I, I would really like to have a beer right now. But that is not what she was talking about. She's talking about the jumping up and down. Uh, time to vote. Was it B for Bill? Was it J for John? Was it A for audience? B for Bill, J for John, A for audience. So, at Bib Jig, the actual, if you're curious to what it actually is, it's actually an acronym from the Bible. Uh, it's between the Old Testament and the New Testament. Yeah, this is uh, the, the Jews of the Old Testament did not yet know uh, who Jesus was or what he meant until Saul declared Bibjig, which is an acronym for bitch, I bet Jesus is God. So that's just a little bit of Bible Bible study for you now. Uh, Josh, <laughs> who won the round of you jokes? John, John on the board. Hey. 
Thank goodness. John is on the board. Boy, this is one of those barn burners, man. Everyone's got a point. <laughs> it's a barn burner. Is that is that the wrong word? No, I, I think it is. It's a barn burner. Uh, who knows how it could go? Boy, the competition is so fierce, but it's time to play a little thing we call Dream Interpretation. Dream Interpretation. I'm going to show you an image from someone's dream and all you have to do is interpret it. What does it mean? Here is the picture. Dream interpretation. Look at that. It's a bunch of Winnie the Poohs out there. Type in your joke. What is this interpretation of this dream? Dream interpretation, new game. We are excited to play. I think Josh came up with this one. So type in what you think the interpretation of this dream is. Uh, we started off with Bill last round. We're gonna start off with John this round. John, what does this mean in a dream? It means that you're you're worried that Disney Plus is going to make their own version of Walking Dead. <laughs> yeah. Woo. Even if you don't win, I am giving you a point for that joke. That is good <laughs> stuff. Uh, Bill, what is the interpretation of this dream? Well, it's been a long time since I've seen a gathering of bears that big, but I do know. Uh, that everybody's worried about uh, coronavirus. It's it's a common neurosis. We're having dreams about it. Nobody there's wearing a mask. It looks like one of those super spreader events. So I think their biggest fear is poo spreaders. Poo spreaders. <laughs> <laughs> poo spreaders. I love it. Uh, those are going to tough to beat, audience. Josh, what do we find in this talented audience? Find a good one for us. It comes from Amy Khan. It means you're out of shampoos. You're out of shampoos. <laughs> Time to vote. This will be, I'll be interesting to see who wins this. Uh, do you think Bill won? Type in B. J, if you think John won, A for audience, B for Bill, J for John, A for audience. I think this just means no more CBD oil before bed. That's what I think it means. Uh, Josh, go ahead and tell us. From your eyeball accounting, who won this round of you jokes? This is a tie. Oh, it's exciting. John won the round. Oh, thank God. You are now, no way. matter what happens, I can leave with my self respect. See? <laughs> See? And you, you might win the big prize. <laughs> oh, awesome. What is the big prize? <laughs> Uh, you, it, it's a $100 million today. Just today. What? Normally it's 10,000. Uh, today it's a hundred million. I would have worked. Oh my God. Yeah, okay. Today, don't, don't get excited. Um, uh, you know, let's go why don't we just give the win to Bill and then he and I can split it. Oh, that yeah. is the FCC's rules. It's and I know I do game shows. Um, <laughs> we're going to show you our next little thing. This is a thing that we call... Time for last show's best. Last show's best. What is that? Uh, most people don't watch this show live. They watch it later after the fact. But we want you to still be able to type in your joke. So if you're watching this later on Facebook or YouTube, go ahead and still type in your joke. We go through, we read all of the jokes, and we grab the best one. We invite them on the next show and then let them play in the final round of play. So we haven't had a show for several weeks, but our winner from last time, please welcome Kevin Westman. Kevin. Hello, everybody. Kevin, wh where are you? Uh, Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. In Canada. Wow. What do you do up there, man? Uh, I actually uh, have worked for the uh, Royal Canadian Mounted Police for over 30 years. Wow. Oh, that is awesome. <laughs> yeah, man. So are you what a coincidence. I try women on tracks. <laughs> <laughs> Are you are you up on a horse? Is that what you do? Uh, no, but my daughter is quite the equestrian. Oh wow! So Kevin, we, can you get my family and I into Canada if things go south here after the election? Depends on who wins the election. I'm sure I'll be asked by a bunch of people. <laughs> John, you can take your hundred million dollar prize, and Kevin will gladly let you into Canada. Yes. God, genius. <laughs> Uh, let's show you, by the way, uh, thank you uh, for, for playing and let's show you what you won for. We played a game uh, last time called uh, Yoga to be Crazy, where you had to uh, name this yoga pose and you won for calling it Downward Dutch Oven. So you get to play in our final round here. In our final round, Kevin. So uh, good luck to you. 
Good luck, audience. It's our final round. Josh, uh, John has two. Bill has one. The audience has one. And this is the final round. Good luck. It's called... Happy Hour. It's Happy Hour. Happy Hour. I'm going to show you an adult beverage. All you have to do is tell me the name of the cocktail. An oldie but a goodie. Happy Hour. Here we go. What is the name of this beverage? What is the name of this beverage? It's our last game. Go ahead and type it in down to the Facebook or YouTube chat. What is the name of this cocktail and or adult libation? Good luck to you, everyone. We're going to start off with our last show's best winner, the Canadian Mounted Mountie Man from Edmonton. Kevin, what is this cocktail called? Well, uh, obviously, it uh, brings brings me to thinking of that uh, song, Lime in the Coconut. Yeah. Uh, however, if you take a closer look, uh, I would call it the Matthew McConaughey. <laughs> and the reason being, it's uh, obviously a fancy drink, so you need to drive a Lincoln to be able to drink that. Uh, and clearly, sculpted shirtless men drink it. <laughs> but the real reason is, obviously, you can see the lime isn't in the coconut. And if the lime was in the coconut, it would make you feel better. But because the lime is on the edge, it'll only make you feel all right, all right, all right. Hey, there all it right, is. All right, all right. Nice. Woo. That was a, it, uh, you were riding the horse to the punchline, but you got <laughs> there, my friend. You made it all the way. Good job, Kevin. Moving up to Bill. Bill, what's this cocktail called? Um, I was also thinking of the song "Lime in the Coconut," and you've heard of a, of a hairy nipple. This is a Harry Nilsson. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. I like it. I like it. Moving up to John. John, what's this cocktail called? Well, I'm going to call it the True Aphrodisiac because every drink will give you a Woody. Oh yes! Oh. <laughs> I'm going low. Joe, no, man, you, you're going exactly where, <laughs> where what people want to see. Uh, good jokes all around. Josh, let's go to the audience and pull one more out from the audience watching along at home. Angela Rosender, just a whittle off the top. Just a whittle <laughs> off the top. That's pretty good. I told you, the audience is great. You're good. Hey, time to vote in the final round, everybody. Was it Kevin, K for Kevin. Was it B for Bill? Was it J for John? Or was it A for audience? That's K for Kevin, B for Bill, J for John, or A for audience. You know, I thought because it, there's a coconut and it's a wooden boy, I wanted to call it a Pinocchio coconut. Uh, oh. But that sounds terrible and I wouldn't drink anything like that. Uh, while Josh is looking at the votes, I want to thank you all for joining us for season three of You Jokes. Um, please follow, please like, please share if you can. If you're not watching it live, you're watching it on Instagram, come back and play with us on our next show, which you can see uh, every Monday. It's our new day. Uh, our next will be Monday, November 2nd at 6 p.m. 9 Eastern, either on my Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash the Mangum, or on YouTube, youtube.com forward slash you jokes. We are in our final round. It's been a good one. It's been a tough one. Josh, tell us who won the final round of you jokes. Bill! Bill! <laughs> <laughs> of course the the rules state if there is a tie the money is void and no one wins oh, a penny. Oh, i'm oh. so sorry that's what happened bill uh, i would have quit it you should have yeah. sucked i should have sucked you should have sucked kevin thank you for joining us thank you for for doing a great job up there in canada bill thank and john you. Pleasure to see you guys. I'm so glad you're working. I can't wait to go watch your movies. Uh, and audience, thank you for joining us. We're back. Please join us next Monday. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.